Hello, in today's video, I'm going to share the top whole foods that are high in vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin, because you can easily obtain it from the sun. The major benefits of vitamin D are, it plays a significant role in maintaining bone growth and health by ensuring adequate calcium absorption into the bones. This protects against conditions like osteoporosis. A fat-soluble vitamin, it acts as a pro-hormone, promoting hormone balance and immune regulation. Research suggests that vitamin D may play an important role in creating compounds essential for wound healing, though more study is needed. Research also suggests that vitamin D supports a healthy pregnancy and infant health by reducing the risk of preeclampsia and the risk of infants developing food allergies. Other benefits of vitamin D are that it reduces inflammation, improves muscle function, supports cell growth, reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, and depression, supports weight loss, regulates blood sugar, and increases phosphate absorption. Some interesting facts about vitamin D are, most foods don't contain proper amounts, if any, of vitamin D to fulfill the recommended daily intake. However, there is some vitamin D in mushrooms, fish, eggs, and fortified foods like milk, juice, and cereal. Mushrooms absorb vitamin D through sunlight, UV radiation, during growth. Eggs from free-range chickens contain vitamin D rather than conventional eggs. Vitamin D is from the family of compounds including D1, D2, and D3. The human body produces vitamin D through sunlight, but unfortunately, a lot of people don't get enough vitamin D. In the United States, approximately 40% of adults are vitamin D deficient. Other parts of the world have higher rates of vitamin D deficiency, such as Pakistan and India, where around 80% of adults are vitamin D deficient. Those with more melanin may have trouble producing vitamin D through the skin, thus being more at risk of having a vitamin D deficiency. Also, in parts of the world that experience less sun exposure throughout the year, their inhabitants may be prone to having a vitamin D deficiency. With these things considered, obtaining vitamin D through food and even supplements is preferable. How much vitamin D should you get daily? The recommended daily intake for vitamin D is 800 IU or 20 micrograms. However, depending on age and condition, one may require more or less such as if they're a child or if they're pregnant or nursing. For those prone to osteoporosis or who live in climates where they receive very little sunlight throughout the year, they may require more vitamin D. Ideally, they would obtain this vitamin D through food and supplements. Mushrooms are the best plant-based source of vitamin D, but it's important to state that wild mushrooms or mushrooms exposed to UV light will have more vitamin D than conventional mushrooms that have not been exposed to UV light. Here are the general recommended daily amounts of vitamin D based on age and condition. So here are the top 18 whole and natural foods that contain 0.5 micrograms or more of vitamin D per servant. These are approximate estimates.
There are more whole and natural foods that contain vitamin D. Check out the resource links in the description bar to discover what they are. Vitamin D deficiency continues to be a problem in the U.S. and other parts of the world. As mentioned earlier, common characteristics of a vitamin D deficiency are a weakened immune system, autoimmune disease, fatigue, muscle weakness, depression, some cancers, skin problems such as eczema, weak bones or osteoporosis, even dementia. If a vitamin D deficiency persists for too long, it can lead to serious health conditions such as rickets, osteoporosis, osteomalacia, and muscle spasms. A vitamin D deficiency may not be noticeable at first, so if you want to know if you have one, it's best to get a blood test from your doctor. And vitamin D toxicity is also possible, though it is likely through supplements and fortified foods and not from sunlight or whole foods. Some researchers believe that it's best to obtain vitamin D through proper sunlight and whole foods rather than fortified foods. They believe eating fortified foods like cereals, juice, and milk can lead to overconsumption of vitamin D. Symptoms of a vitamin D deficiency are nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, unexpected weight loss, muscle weakness, constipation, hypercalcemia, which is high levels of calcium calcium in the blood. Prolonged hypercalcemia can lead to issues such as kidney failure and irregular heartbeat. Nevertheless, by focusing on obtaining vitamin D through sunlight and whole foods, such as those listed in this video, plus knowing how much vitamin D you should aim for daily, under and over consumption of vitamin D should not be an issue. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please comment, like, and share so this video can reach more people looking for healthy and natural vitamin D sources. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.